There is a series of videos on YouTube by Daphne Reloaded about veganism and how veganism is a sinking ship and it made me think a lot about veganism and the Titanic and how they are both so similar because that Titanic was advertised as just this magical unsinkable ship of dreams. Many of us got a ticket to get on this unsinkable ship, this unsinkable vegan Titanic ship because they have all the documents and all the science to show you that all the, there are all these benefits to going on a vegan diet reversing heart disease and diabetes and basically veganism is unsinkable if you do it properly you get all your nutrients you are guaranteed to arrive at your destination of good health unsinkable and you believe that you're safe so you get your ticket and you get on that on that ship and they advertised it to everyone first class second class and third class even if you're rich or poor, the ship itself is unsinkable. They make it seem like veganism is the cheapest diet on the planet. The cheapest diet on the planet. So it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. First class, second class, or third class ticket holder. This, the ship overall is not going to sink, so you're going to be alright regardless of whatever ticket you have. Y'all all, all going to arrive at the same destination of good health. Everyone that tries veganism is like a ticket holder of whatever class they can afford. The people that do the best on veganism and have no problems whatsoever, they go vegan and they um, have no problems. They're, their health is just always on an, an upswing. Everything gets better and stays better for years and decades. Those are the ticket holders that did not actually get on the ship. How many people do you think um, that there were that had a ticket to get on the Titanic and somehow some emergency came up or they had to sell their ticket or give their ticket away or gambled it away. That's how rare it is to get through the vegan diet with no problems, in my opinion. We all know this phase of veganism where you just feel great. You feel like you're on top of the world. I would never go back. I would never um, unpurchase or ask for a refund on my ticket. I would never jump ship. This is perfect no matter nothing is up ahead I mean it's just so great it's so amazing I'm the king of the world here are you kidding me if somebody came up to you um, this man these two men and said y'all are gonna want to jump ship at some point they would say no look at how amazing I feel like the king of the world the ship is is beautiful powerful I would never I would never um ask for a refund on my ticket I would never jump ship I would never I ain't even thinking about those lifeboats this is the beginning phase of veganism and little did you know you were doing it wrong the whole time even if you feel this good for 20 years and something happens to you in the future something in your body starts crumbling you were doing it wrong for that long for 20 years this is a diagram of the titanic i guess and how it's basically designed to be unsinkable pretend that this is a piece of paper and this is basically all the vegan science all the studies of how the vegan diet uh, reverses heart disease. This is Dr. Greger on this sheet of paper. This is Lily Koi Hawaii's videos about anti-nutrients. This is all that compiled all on one sheet of paper on how this vegan diet can work. How this vegan diet is unsinkable. And it looks so nice on paper. It looks so just well thought out, well constructed, believable, wonderful. And throughout the course of your journey as a vegan that actually got on the ship that day and is basically bound for doom this piece of paper with all the information about how the vegan diet is great and all the scientific studies done on people that you don't even know people that stu scientific studies that did not include you and scientific studies that none of them are 100 percent vegans love those studies but none of them show a 100 percent result ever i don't care if it's a 99 percent result of a good um reversing heart disease diabetes this is not a 100 percent okay but they will they will put it in your face like it's 100 percent so just keep that in mind because this pay this um sheet of paper with all that scientific stuff about the veganism will i will throw that in your face once um I, whenever i feel like the vegans would do that i'm sure we've all seen the movie but rose at one point she's ready to jump ship very early on and so i feel like that represents um many vegans ready to jump ship but then get pulled back in and sometimes that could be making a, an adjustment to your vegan diet you notice things going wrong and you fix it you get pulled back in and that could be low b12 that could be taking an iron pill that could be finding a few herbs 
You could have started out on that high carb, high sugar diet and your pancreas just couldn't take it. So you were ready to jump shit, but then you just decided, okay, I'm going to eat more fat and protein. And that'll hold you. That'll keep you on that ship a little longer because um, there's many horrible ways to do veganism, raw veganism and all that. Many people early on had to learn to make adjustments and not do those extreme vegan diets because that will have you ready to jump ship very, very quickly. So getting pulled back in, doing a more balanced vegan diet, and being able to last longer on the ship of dreams, the unsinkable ship of veganism. So clearly we have an iceberg up ahead. The tip of this iceberg, I feel like that represents what I do my videos on, the surface things that you can actually see. And the base of this iceberg is what's really going on, and the vegans don't care about either one, to be honest. Um, but if you can't tell them about the base of this iceberg, they don't care about the surface. They want to know what specific nutrient can you not get on a vegan diet? What specific amino acid and vitamin are lacking in a vegan diet? Um, I don't really care about all that. And when I say I don't care, I don't mean that it's not important. This whole chunk of ice is important and, and it's very damaging. But if I see the surface of this um, iceberg, this top part, the base, I'm, I'm dodging the whole thing. I don't need to see the whole base and the whole thing of the iceberg to know to get out of the way of that. But the vegans, they don't care. And many of us, we neglect those things for so long and we end up just crashing into this thing. These are the first class vegans. I had a vegan today tell me that the reason that I um, did not succeed on a vegan diet, the reason why I deteriorated was because I was not seeing a vegan registered dietitian to help me plan my meals and make sure I was getting every nutrient that I needed. I needed to be able to come out of pocket, not only live in an area surrounded by college educated people to be able to find this so-called vegan registered dietitian, because I could live in a super um, impoverished area where people don't even really have high school diplomas. I got to find a registered vegan dietitian. I got to be able to afford to pay them and be able to afford whatever um, they tell me to buy, which will probably be some supplements and stuff as well. So this is like some first class vegan privilege. And these people in these first class boats represent those first class privileged vegans. Just go and see your registered vegan dietitian. Like it's just that easy and it's just that um, cheap, you know. And they think they're doing so well because they're so comfortable in these lifeboats. But irregardless, this ship is going to sink and this lifeboat is not going to last you forever. You're still going to end up needing some outside non-vegan ship intervention. You're going to need another ship to come and take you the rest of the way. Regardless of whether you're rich and you can afford that vegan dietitian and be comfortable for now or not. And then those first class passengers will of course present you with this. The vegan diet is unsinkable. The vegan diet is unsinkable. Meanwhile, they're um, comfortable in those little lifeboats going and see those vegan dietitians to make sure that they don't sink along with the ship. End stage veganism. Fighting to survive. Fighting. Doing everything that you can just to make it. Still on that ship, but still trying to make it at the same time. Trying to really just make it work. Clinging to everything that you can to try to live. This is end stage veganism. The crazy thing about this is that there are vegans that don't believe in this. They believe that the vegan diet cannot fail you. The vegan diet cannot fail you. Those are the people sitting at home with a ticket, but they had an emergency or whatever came up and they couldn't make it on the ship. And they don't believe that the ship is sinking and they send you a they send you an owl with this note. Here we go again. The World Health Organization said it's suitable for all stages of life. That's like someone at home that didn't even get on the ship with a ticket with their feet up in front of the fireplace saying, no, you can't be going through anything. All these people can't be suffering and, and freezing and um, water can't be filling up a ship because I have this piece of paper in front of me that said that the ship is unsinkable. Yeah, that's what y'all sound like. This represents freely. This represents all the hardcore vegans no matter what. This ship is unsinkable and they, even if they see the ship sinking, even if they start looking horrible, things around them just start looking atrocious. They see that ship sinking, they will cling on for dear life because of the animals. If a whale came along and saved you right now, then I could, then I could understand why you would be willing to die for the animals. But the animals don't care about you. The sharks are waiting for you to die so they can eat those, um, eat those bodies. Okay, the animals don't care about you. I don't see no dolphins or no whales trying to come and save you. So why, what are you doing clinging to this ship for the animals? The ship is sinking and these are all the hardcore, I will never change, I will never go back, vegans clinging to this sinking ship. 
all the vegan parents that may as well be tucking their children into a casket. This is the vegan delusion. You think your kids are just going to sleep peacefully through the whole thing? That cold water is going to rush in. They're going to hear it. It's going to hit the sheets. They're going to pop up and they're going to be screaming. And they're going to be furious with you for not warning them, for not even trying to help them to survive. This is the most infuriating part. This delusion. What do you think is going to happen? You're tucking your children into a casket that's about to sink to the bottom of the ocean. All you vegan parents. This is Earthling Ed. This is um, Joey Carbstrong. This is that vegan couple. These, these are the extreme animal rights vegans playing that sad song over and over and over again. Just engulfed in sadness and just like obsessed with the animal struggle. Meanwhile, they look, the situation around them is bleak and horrible. When I say that, I'm talking about the way that they look. They look sickly, they look weak, they look frail. But they're just they're not even worried about the sinking ship this is the complete ethical vegans they don't care that the ship is sinking they don't care that they're about to die they don't care about none of that all they care about is that sad song singing that same old sad tune over and over again i'm not going to say much about this image other than i will link people to this timestamp if your comment reminds me of this scenario someone trying to handcuff someone to a sinking ship this is many of us ex-vegans after that ship sank and then this gets handed to you again and again while you're floating in the icy water trying to survive before I end this video I want to say I don't need to provide you with an alternate ship line you vegans that write those comments well you need to tell us why a carnivore and a keto diet is healthy no I don't I don't need to provide you with anything I'm here to address the fact that that vegan diet is so promoted as an unsinkable ship if you do a vegan diet properly you will have success you will be healthy guaranteed if you do it properly if you um make sure you're getting all your nutrients meanwhile all the vegan studies none of them are 100 percent so how do you even know that the bottom line is i don't need to provide you with an alternate ship line to take to avoid icebergs that i think is unsinkable i don't care about all that all i know is that this vegan diet is a sinking ship so i don't need to um go through what I think is unsinkable because I don't think anything is unsinkable but one thing is for sure this vegan diet really is I've been there when the ship was sinking okay I got on the lifeboat I got out of there and I'm not about to put on some type of a suit or get in some type of a submarine and revert back down to that sinking ship and try to be down there with freely in them I'm not doing that but that's it for this video